Hey everybody, Monty Reed here doing a quick book review on Bill Hanley's Speed Mathematics. And I have to let you know, first of all, that I'm only on the second page of the first chapter. This has come recommended to me uh, by a friend of mine who had a learning disability and became a computer genius whiz. And he credits this book early on in his uh, educational career. I read through the preface, and then I got chapter one, and you can see it's less than 250 words here, and it's just on, just on, <laughs> there's one for the bloopers, uh, just on um, multiplication part one, and I got, I didn't even get through the second page, so literally a page and a half of the first chapter, and the aha that I've had in just with this, like the amazing tip. And this, this, you know, this is how many pages? 280 to 300 pages of, of tips. Well, I guess the glossary starts at 300. That apex, uh, appendix. So, yeah, I can't even spell appendix. Anyway, we've got, you know, over 270, 250 pages of tips. And just the very first tip that he has given me has already let me know that I know I'm going to master math. And I'll tell you, uh, I was fortunate enough uh, to, in college, find out that I had a learning disability. And then because of North Seattle Community College uh, testing department and their disabilities uh, support office, uh, I guess you can't call it disabilities anymore because of political correctness, whatever. Anyway, technically I was retarded because, you know, my uh, thinking was slow and, you know, it's not a derogatory term. It's it's just a, a, a durning less ability, less Dixia. And so my challenge was uh, that I couldn't do math and I couldn't spell. And in high school, I uh, got marked down uh, for all my English and my history and my uh, science teachers all told me I would get A's or B's on my papers if I hadn't made so many errors. And because the rubric, the way they score their papers, they have to mark you down for uh, getting errors. So anyway, um, um, in college, I had to take one math class five quarters in a row in order to, uh, in order to get that. And Got uh, guy coming to the door, making a delivery. Okay, all right. So uh, five quarters in a row, and I finally got a 2.0 in that class. And you know the thing is, I managed to maintain uh, my my 3.8 GPA went down to a 3.6 because of that um, 2.0. And but I did have to take that that basic math 98 class five times before I got a 2.0 and was able to uh, finish and graduate. I mean. Very painful for me to do math. But now, after just reading the first two pages, not even the first full two pages of chapter one, I know that I'm going to master math. And, uh, you know, I was told I, I can't write, and I've written my second book now, Get Started, Don't Quit. I'm working on the, uh, the third book, several other, others. But I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to read the rest of this. I know, after going through here, I know that I'm going to be able to go back and take all the college math courses, I'll be able to understand physics in a way I've never been able to because of the math, the mental math. And so I know this is sort of a, a premature uh, review, but I'm so excited. I'm just the second page of the first chapter, I haven't even, I'm, this is just tip number one of Bill Handley's Speed Mathematics. You've got to get this book for yourself. I got it off of Amazon. Um, you can get it new or used. I'd recommend getting the third edition because he's uh, added some stuff. And uh, it just keeps getting better according to the reviews out there. But uh, I am giving this two thumbs up as a, a guy who managed to become the Honor Society and become a NASA Space Grant Scholar and a Mary Gates Scholar in spite of my learning disability. And I had to do it the hard way. I'm so excited now to go back and uh, attack math with Bill Hanley's Speed Mathematics. You guys, you've got to get a hold of this. It has all of these tips. And, you know, I don't know what's going to be the aha for you, but I'll tell you, for me, this, it's, it's just shocking how simple this is. I mean, literally, here in an example, he just says, well, let's, you know, do multiplication up to 10 times 10. You know, everyone should know that 10 times 
is, is 100. That's easy. But when you get into these numbers, what he did here with this example is you draw the circles, and then uh, underneath the circle, uh, you just write uh, below it, what would it take to get the 7 to 10. Now, obviously a 3, and to get the 8 to 10, you put a 2. So you've got, and then what you do is you subtract uh, this from this. So the uh, 2, seven, 7 minus 2 is 5, or you do 8 minus 3 is 5. And then that's your first digit of the answer. And then if you take 3 minus 2, or sorry, 3 times 2, that equals 6 right here. Oh, there we go. Um, so 8 minus 3 is 5, seven, or 7 minus 2 is 5. So you can do either one, whichever is easier or faster for you. And then when you multiply the two, it's 6. So your answer is 56. Try it here. Uh, 9 minus 2 is 7, or 8 minus 1 is 7. This times this is 2, 72 is the answer. Bam, just like that. I can't, I cannot wait to try the rest of these tips. They're going to, this is so exciting. You guys got to get your hands on this book. So uh, again, um, for those of you who don't know my story, I had a learning disability. I cried uh, through grade school. I would spend hours on my homework. High school, I would spend hours on my homework. In college, in my physics course, uh, every day after class, I went directly to the tutor's office. Uh, they had a study room with tutors, and I worked my way through all the tutors, every single one of them. I would spend a couple hours in that study room after my physics class trying to do the homework with their help. And literally, uh, this, two weeks in, uh, the tutors got together and, and requested that the professor meet with me. And so two of the tutors and the professor came to me uh, at the, the office in the tutor room at the University of Washington, and we worked out two homework problems. And the professor looked at me and he said, you know, Monty, what you really need to do is just go down to the registrar's office and drop this class. And he gave me a note so there's no penalties. And, you know, I dropped the class. But I, can, I kept the, uh, the lab portion. And, of course, I got a 4.0 in the lab because I love to do stuff with my hands. And my lab partner didn't like to do stuff with his hands and loved math. He, he could do mental math. And so I got a 4.0 in my physics lab, but I had to drop the lecture. But I am so excited now. When I finish reading this book, I know that I can go back and take that physics class. I know that I'll be able to take any math classes. I'm going to master math, and I'm going to let you guys know uh, how we do that. And, of course, I'll revisit this after I finish uh, Bill Hanley's Speed Mathematics. You want to get your hands on this book. Uh, I'm recommending. I'm going to see if I can get bulk copies of this and try to get some fundraising going because this needs to be in every grade school in America. This is Monty Reed for YouTube and Bill Hanley's Mathematics. Get a copy of it today. You're going to love it. Have a great day.